Hello Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a wait a minute production. Today I'm going to go to this art book fair hosted on uh, Jalan Raja Lau and in the Balai Seni Negara which is uh, looking like this one. That's the Balai Seni Negara and it's on Jalan Tun Razak. It took me about uh, 40 minutes to get here because I got into Jalan Pahang instead of Jalan Tun Razak so yeah, quite confusing I think there are a lot of uh, official buildings in Jalan Tun Razak itself it's a major road I don't know whether it's the same as the uh, yeah, uh, there should be a National Blood Malaysia and this is the Art National Gallery Here's the Art National Art Gallery and this one here is uh, Jalan Tun Raza. So uh, this roundabout here, I went this one, Jalan Pahang instead going here because of the fucking uh, car blocked my way on the roundabout itself so getting here is not that far away from here and there's also Istana Budaya KL and also the Academy of Medicine I don't know. Maybe around here there should be a uh, national national library of Malaysia and also the IJN or Institute Jantung Negara or Institute of Heart Disease and whatever. And from there you can I think go to Jalan Ampang. I don't know whether Jalan Ampang is somewhere around there or not. So it seems to be a bit not many people at all around here so I don't know whether it's worth coming here or not So there is Jalan Tun Razak that's a major road So you can see that uh, there should be some uh, graphics here saying that Shing! that's not many people at all <coughs> I don't want to come here actually it's uh, I'm bloody sleepy you know I've, uh, For the past 2 or 3 nights I've been sleeping at 3 3 a.m. and I'm waking up at 8 or 9 I don't know why so I'm a bit uh, very tired and uh, coming here I went through Jalan uh, Jalan apa? Jalan Raja Lau where that Jalan Raja Lau leads to Chao Kit and that's the toys place and also the UOB Menara UOB or the UOB building the bank uh, overseas Union Overseas Bank is it called? not sure it's a Chinese bank and now it's around uh, today is the it's around five minutes past four today is the 10th of November it's uh, 2013 it's a Sunday and I passed by the Manara UOB and I saw a lot of cars there so everybody like a uh, typical Malaysian will do it last minute so they a lot of artists uh, going for the categories of established artists and also the upcoming artists two categories there of course the one the established artist has a better price which is around 35,000 US dollars whereas for the uh, the group that I went to, the category that I went to, which is the emerging artists, the, the maximum price is only 3,500 US dollars. So, quite a big difference, but never mind. So, a lot of people, I saw a lot of uh, cars there. I should have, uh, maybe, maybe I should have gone there and just stop my bike and just go there and interview the shit out of all the people who are participating. Uh, but then again, uh, well, my, my main objective is uh, this place here, which is seems to be the wrong objective to go to because there are not many people at all and it's going to end in less than two hours time because it closes at 6 p.m. so let's go on cracking and see what's inside
okie dokie so let me put on my journalistic cap on and take a looky looky at this building here this is the Balai Seni Negara or art uh, building of Malaysia so let's get on cracking so this is the exhibition gallery not any people at all, so why oh, would anybody bother with uh, art books? Oh, never mind. coming here so this is national uh, the Balai Seni Visual Negara National Visual Arts so it's quite uh, strange that uh, yesterday I just submitted my uh, you my my three works to the UOB art competition and now I'm doing this one here at the visual arts of uh, Malaysia and stuff like that uh, it's free is it yes it's gonna be free hopefully it's quite a small one seems to be small place actually so uh, maybe I shouldn't have come here. But never mind. So okay, actually they are packing up already and going home. So there's nothing much to see actually. So this national gallery, we have a lot of books. Hmm, this one looks very nice actually. It's an oil painting by King Hunter Yat Anu oh, sorry that's the name of the, the piece there it's uh, by Tan Wei King so it's quite nice actually very detailed uh, this is very simple this is of that uh, fella there is uh, what you call it the money money fella what's the name I don't know Tan Sri Zeti Akta Aziz uh, this is a simple sketch just a very simple sketch it's uh, made in 2012 by this Long Tian Shi very simple but uh, nice uh, can see some of the is it pencil marks I'm not sure and this one's nice also this one is not bad this guy here has a very ugly looking neck but oh, never mind maybe it's something to do with Jabba the Hutt oh, never mind this is by Jaganandan Ramachandram Tun of uh, okay the the piece is called Tun Sambatan and this is uh, this is quite unique this one is a uh, it's oil canvas definitely oil painting you can see all the lines there it's uh, weird but never mind it's by Saf, Saifu Razman hmm. and uh, is there lots of uh, well, this is quite a big place huh? so is there anything else to see Hmm. It's a children's area. What time does this place close? Huh? Ah. Ah, yeah. It's my petang. Apa nama? Apa nama? Into YouTube. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Okay, okay. Tak apa. Sini uh, pukul berapa tutup? Kita kat sini pukul 6 tutup. Tapi untuk buat YouTube kita tak pergi lah. Ha? Oh, untuk sendiri punya? Hmm. Takkan gambar tadi tak apa. Itu uh, sini jalan Tun Razak kan? Ada itu pergi jalan Ampang ke? Library, 
Closing the video, all these things. It's quite a nice, uh, it's not quite a nice picture. So, absurdity city. So, this one you can look up there, it's a small little. don't know what the fuck is this like, place actually. Slim type of uh, guy. just flows through it it's very nice mm -hmm. well, there. so if you like the arts uh, you do come to this uh, place here you see a lot of artists so this place is called Ar absurd city uh, frankly speaking i think i prefer the the art galleries in uh, in New Zealand and also in uh, Britain so there's a transformers here with a tie god damn it weird so always the lights that's not so nice looks like they don't gonna let me take the camera inside It's okay. It's not that yeah, astounding. Ah, no pictures. Eh? Okay. Ngapu tak boleh. Itu polisi. Polisi. Can I do a review of this piece? But it's kind of small, so there's. Let's go and take a look at the others. So this is a caricature artist. Osman, very small. It's a watercolor. Very nice, actually, the colors, especially. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Separate artist? Huh? Separate artist? So you? You? Uh, Osman. Yeah. It's Osman. Very nice, artist. Huh? It's a color. I, I like the color. Spontaneous result on the bubble. On on a bubble uh, -uh. uh water and water and bubble how do you get the bubble 
Soap huh? or soap? Uh, soap. Oh, soap. Uh. Yeah. This is washi washi. Washi washi. Uh, eh? Like this color here. Reminds me of the, the, the cells in the bananas. The banana of that when you're doing biology, you cut it off, the, that's what you see. If you go and use the, the electron microscope or the microscopes, you will, uh, you will cut open a, a cell of the mammal or the, of, or the plant, definitely it will look like that. So it's uh, use, using bubbles and stuff just to get it. And uh, this one is also quite nice. Flying turtle and you work with acrylic. Very nice. Yes. Where are you from? Uh, from YouTube. China. Malaysia. YouTube. Ah, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Okay, up to you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry? It's up to you. Up to you. Up to you. Up to me for what? Continue. Ah, continue. Okay. <laughs> Thought you're gonna give me one. So, quite nice. And this is the same fella there, you can see him. Osma Akbar Long. Actually, he's, he's a printer. And yeah, it's a, it's a print. It's such a, it's, much, it's a much bigger type of, uh, should be a much bigger thing. This one, this one, this one is nice. If you look at it from with squinty eyes and very far away, it would really look photorealistic, even though it's made from watercolor. So that's pretty nice. So these are the prints, and the real stuff is here. Real stuff is here. It's watercolor. And this one here is. Uh, It's the scenery of the kampung or the village in Malaysia. So that's a very nice thing. I think all these things are much nicer than what you get inside there, the absurdity place. So this one here is nicer than there inside. What I'm trying to say is, here is the type of uh, art that is grounded in earth, on earth. Whereas the ones inside there is like more of a type of uh, spontaneous, not spontaneous, uh, absurd and uh, kind of like uh, you know kind of like a bombastic type of artwork which is not grounded in reality this is bullshit so uh, let's go up and take a look and see there's another one there so surely there's a guard mm. it's a picture don't give a damn about pictures picture as well what the fuck oh them are pictures so this one this, this is a spiral type of uh, architecture almost the same as one of the art galleries in uh, in Germany I don't know what's it called already uh, you, have you seen the movie Unknown starring Liam Neeson and the excellent looking Diane Kruger even though she's quite old I would still make her the mother of my children in other words it's something else so it's all pictures so there was a sequence in uh, that uh, unknown movie where there's a fight thingy going on and it was okay. I haven't watched the unknown yet or finished watching the unknown because I'm trying to watch it for the second time. Diane Kruger is always looking very very delicious even though she is way past her prime. Not way past her prime, she is in her prime. But if you watch the movie Troy starring Brad Pitt, uh, what's his name, that Austrian hunk uh, Eric Bana and the rest well she goes topless and she is lovely very very firm breasts indeed so i guess that's about it what the hell is this ken yang who's that ah shit Actually, I should get a, sm a smaller tripod so it'll be less uh, conspicuous. But this is like a like a royal type of a gallery. So hopefully, the fucking guards do not like piss me off. So 
So these are the portraits of the royal family of Malaysia. So it's something akin to like say the, the arts of uh, Britain. So it looks pretty okay. It's an all artwork, uh, oil painting, so it has some realism in it. Who the hell is this? I, I love the... I really like the, how the dress is made. What's this? Uh? I don't know. So there's a show of uh, Britain and stuff like that. Oh, this one is nice. Something like a fairy thingy of, of Malaysia, the three races, the main races of Malaysia. We have the Chinese in Chongsam, the red one. Then the white one is a uh, Malay girl. And the yellow one is uh, Indian. Actually, it's very nice. Who's the artisan? Three Graces, Satu Malaysia, 2013. It's very nice indeed. Satu Malaysia, that's not good. It's alright. So all of them are by one artist, is it? I can see a motif, I forget, I I can see a motif towards all these things, it's the same fella. And this is like a British type of uh, architecture and uh, I'm not supposed to step on this, right? Uh, this one looks like Siti Noha's Liza, the very cute singer of Malaysia. I will do her in a heartbeat. Actually, I don't last I mean, I, I last longer than a heartbeat, definitely. Uh, nice. And this is a very strange looking Karis. Never mind. Karis is the national sort of Malaysia. A bit small, it's like a short sort. But it won't glow in the dark when goblins and ghouls are near. But it will glow when there are politicians abound. Uh -huh. This one, uh, hmm. something like can be from Lord of the Rings picture. And who is this? Self portrait. Oh, this is a self portrait of the Arses. Okay, looking very bombastic and very British. Looks okay. I like how it's done actually. How is it done? Is it. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I like it, uh, the colour of the skin is nice, pink and stuff, very nice indeed and I guess this is what he wore when he did the self-portrait, very British, very nice. So, and there's the gown there, gown is nice, I don't know that, who that is, uh -huh. this one looks nice, it's a symbol of Kada is there, two tusks and one whatever. Sultana Pahang. I really like the I really like this type of artist. What was his name already? So Table Games 1 cards. I like the color. I mean the how the composition of the the darkness in the background and the the skin color is very nice. And this one is a this one you would you you wouldn't find this out of place when when you're looking at the, an art from the British people a uh, British artists who make uh, oil paintings. This is this is something you find at the Edinburgh Art Gallery or the London Art Gallery, no problem. And uh, he has his sim his uh, his signature is K Y. Very nice actually. I think it's a very accomplished artist. Uh, very accomplished artist and I guess that's him there this is a photo and this one wow I like the color of the gown the silk gown silk black gown colors are mesmerizing he captured it always uh, you will actually think that it's actually photoshopped but uh, I guess I don't know whether it's photoshopped or not it's real art you can see the strokes there. Definitely. Very nice. Uh, too bad there's like no nipple action there. 
Well, the face is, um, well, it's Chinese, definitely, but uh, not the pretty type of Chinese. But never mind, you would get a chance to do her, you do her. Definitely. And if you want to achieve this type of uh, effect, especially not on that uh, here, but you want to get the type of, uh, what you call it, oil painting effect of the glossiness by using watercolors, make sure you use very thick watercolor. And after that, apply shellac to it and voila, you have the same effect of uh, uh, oil painting. The Malaysian Gioconda. What is Gioconda? This one looks, uh, reminds me of uh, Mona Lisa. So, uh, not bad. Not bad indeed. I like how the fingers are made or painted. Most likely to do or have this type of effect. The frame also it looks nice. To have this type of effect, uh, uh, the person there is, there should be a person sitting in and while uh, the fellas, uh, this, this YK artist is, uh, well, is painting. I mean, I mean, nowadays everybody just takes a picture and copies from there. So, no, me. Hmm, it's okay. This one also, okay. So all of this is from the same artist, eh? I believe. Very good artist indeed. Too bad I don't have a chance to actually interview the fellow. So this is the symbol of of uh, vanity, I guess, with a mirror, a guy with a mirror, and, and is it makeup? God knows. I can't see here. It's winter 